What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday, happy Thursday. So, I took off Friday through Tuesday. Lo and behold, Thunderstorm Central all five days. So, I'm going to redo some of my plans. I'll probably get some work done on the website. More to follow on that in the upcoming, uh, probably, videos talking about it. Some different things I have for ideas. We'll see what happens with it all. But, all right. Let's talk about the big thing out there. PayPal. I want to say the 26th was the day I got the email. And you know, if you don't click on the changes to policy, you'll never know what's all in there. Always read through that stuff. Here's the catch on to it. So, starting July 28th, which I'm almost positive, second day of the National, because I think the National starts the 27th, but that could be dealer setup. I'm not sure. Or the day where you buy your VIP pass and come in for a couple hours. But, on the 28th, instead of you paying $0.49 cents plus 2.89% on all your uh, goods and service transactions, it's going to revert to 2.99%. What that means, though, is for all the bigger orders out there, you're going to get hit more with fees. I still think this is due to the fact that a lot of accounts like Shopify stores and Wix and whatever else is out there, a lot of these people do drop shipping through all that stuff, whether it's, you know, linking to Amazon or whatever else out there, t-shirts, hats, um, whatever it could be. And they're doing a ton of transactions, you know, 20 to $100, and... You know, they're trying to cut those guys a breaks because it's a lot of transactions floating through. But, if you look, a $500 item would have a higher in fee in the future. So, this says, PayPal provide an example of $225 for a piece of furniture requiring a charge of $699 now as opposed to $673 under the new pricing scheme. That's why I said I think around 500 is going to be the point after that to where you start seeing you're paying more in fees. But that's not all. The most important, the company said it will now restrict its U.S. customers in sending peer-to-peer -peer payments only to consumer accounts, not to merchant accounts. So, if you base it, what this is saying is if you have a business account like I do, I can only take goods and services. I can't take friends and family. If I want to do friends and family, I need to go make a personal account up and I can do friends and family off of it. But I guarantee you they're going to keep a hard look on that stuff right off the bat because you're talking all these 1099s that get pushed out every year. How much goods and, or how much friends and family sent all these dudes on like IG, Twitter, all these Raz rooms and stuff. You know, that's why I always tell people to send goods and services, regardless. I know some of these guys have, you know, 20, 30, a million followers out there. They could do and try, you know, the persuasions there for friends and family, but it's not going to happen if they got a business account. What'll be funny is all the merchants now that are sitting at the National, if they don't know this, think about this. If you're sitting at the National and you're like, yeah, I'll take 300 pay, you know, PayPal for it, thinking that it, you know, you're not going to pay fees on it, or we'll just say, I'll take 1000 if you PayPal it to me. They got a set of goods and services to you now. Was that about 960-ish, I think, offhand? 3%, 30, no, 970, around 970. So a lot of people are probably going to come in shock that don't pay attention to these little things like this out here. I know that's why everybody's like, oh, I'll have Zelle, Venmo, and Cash App, and whatever else is out there. Guess what? They're all going to be changing to this stuff because the IRS and the government's pushing on these platforms. And they want to know, why did uh, I send Bobby $100? Was it for his birthday? Was it for well? Was it Christmas time? Was it his birthday? Was it a loan he gave me? What was it for? Why is he getting this money from me? You know, eventually this crackdown is going to happen. People will find their ways to wiggle through, like always. And again, I, I guarantee a lot of people are going to want to do cash now on this because a lot of people like it because they don't report to do their taxes. The funny end of that is it's probably a video of that purchase out there, and somebody will catch you along the way. 
But I want to get this out there, everybody, just so you guys can see it and understand it, especially if you're going somewhere, what's happening July 28th. You could still, if you have a personal account, send friends and family to whoever. But for us that went out and got business accounts with the EINs or you're pinging it off your social as your business or whatever it may be, this affects you. This affects you. You're not going to be able to send friends and family, nor will you be able to take friends and family. Um, other than that, you guys see the price increase. I still, like I said, 500 and over, you'll start noticing the difference onto it. But let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of people don't use PayPal. People will say PayPal is trash out there and everything else. But everybody has different forms of payment. Remember when it was Visa versus MasterCard, American Express, then Discover came along. Everybody hated Discover. You know, it, it all comes down to whatever somebody's going to use to pay to you, whether it's Venmo, Cash App. Yeah, but I guarantee you Venmo will end up changing to this. And so will a lot of others because the pressure is being pushed on to these platforms now. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one. Catch you guys next video.